Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Epic Realist here. Welcome back if you are not new. And welcome to my channel if you are new. I have not really talked about anything abuse related in a while, so I wanted to talk about this one random topic. Well, not completely random based on what my channel started out to be, but it's random because I haven't really touched on anything like that in a while. And I think it's about time I started touching on some things again, just for the hell of it. Because, you know, why not? These are issues people go through. So... If you guys have been following me for a while, then you know that I was molested already as a child. Um, yeah, from age 12 to 17. So that was a long, 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 long time. I thought about it one time based on, I got this idea from another YouTuber who had been through something similar, but she had been raped a lot. And um, I think she was sold into sex um, slavery or something. Yeah, she was, she was somehow sold for sex, I believe. And one day I came across her video where she said she had been raped about 600 times. I was like, oh my god, wow, that's, that, whoa, scary. How can you even count? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, wow. You put it together like that, you, yeah, sometimes you just don't want to know, really. You don't want to know how many times you've been abused. I mean, who really wants to know exactly the number? You'll never know the exact number unless you can definitively think of the right number, like you've actually been counting, and the times you were abused were literally there, you know, you were able to count because it wasn't that many times. It wasn't that often. It wasn't that often, and yeah, you're lucky. You're luckier than the people who got it way more often than that. But anyway, I got this idea from her. <sighs> now, I'm not going to try to figure out how many times I was abused because, of course, it's really sad and I don't want to go too much into it. But I'm just, I just wanted to talk, talk about it a little bit. Like, I really thought about it one day. I really thought about it. And even before I saw this woman's video, I thought about how many times was I actually abused? How many times was I preyed on? a lot. If I add up all the times I was abused, including the grooming, the, the beginning of the grooming, um, you know, the porn magazines, the porn videos, the touching, all of that, if I count all of that, if I count the grooming along with um, being abused almost every night, because I can somewhat remember it was almost every night. Now, of course, some nights were skipped because, you know, things were happening and he wasn't able to do it. Or he just didn't feel like doing it, he couldn't get to do it at the time, whatever the case. There were some times where it just didn't happen, so... But still, for the most part, it was at least three to four times a week. Where I was being preyed on by my father, my biological father, by the way. Um... Yeah, it was a lot. So... From age 12 to 17, all those times, all of that mess going on, I know it's a lot. It's way over 100, I do know. I'm not going to sit here and try to calculate and try to remember because there's no way I can possibly remember. But I just want to talk about this anyway because it's kind of an important thing to think about. To put things in perspective, you know? Sometimes thinking about stuff like that really helps to put it in perspective. As far as, you know, just personal growth or at least telling someone. You know, imagine being abused this many times or imagine this happening to you so people can have more of a grasp on how serious this really is. You know, I've had people in the past tell me on my channel, Oh, you're making this up, or you're making too big deal, too much of a big deal out of it. I'm sure it wasn't that bad, you know. I've been through worse, and you know, it don't sound all that bad. You might have enjoyed it, and blah, blah, blah. I heard all some kind of sick shit on my channel. I heard a lot of sick shit, and most of it I, d I deleted. I don't bother responding to those people, but <laughs> even still, I mean, just to put it in perspective, yeah, it's been a lot, I'm sure. I've been abused probably over 500 times. That's, that's a long time. Like I said, I'm not going to sit there and pinpoint because I can't. There's no way I can and frankly I don't want to. But like I said, I just wanted to put this in perspective based on the video that the other woman did. Just to make me kind of look at it like, differently and help other people look at it differently. Like when you, when you, when you, excuse me, can't talk. 
when you've been sexually abused by someone for a long period of time, it really messes you up. And depending on the times, the amount of times you've been abused, it's probably worse. You know, because each time is different. Each time the situation might be a little bit different, you know. You might be a little bit more scared, you might be a little bit more anxious this time. You might have been really close to telling someone this time, but you can't, but you couldn't. Or, maybe, um, each situation wasn't as bad as the next. Like, maybe the perpetrator didn't choke you this time, or, the, or they didn't hit you a certain way, or, you know, they were gentler that particular time. You know, these are things that probably stay in your head for years on end. These are things that definitely stay in my head for the most part. Um, you know, when I think about it. But, it's each situation, each abusive situation, each episode is different. And sometimes you'll be thinking different. Sometimes you'll be thinking, oh, it's not so bad. Sometimes you'll be thinking, okay, it's gonna be over soon. Okay, when is it gonna be over? Come on, let's rush this along. A lot of times I was sitting there thinking, okay, when is it gonna be over? When will I be able to tell somebody? When will I be able to get this out? And as you guys know, I didn't really get my chance until I was age 17. But still, imagine all those times, all those repeated times, and those thoughts of wondering when I'm gonna be able, when is this gonna be over? You know, when is it gonna be over? How many times has this happened to me? How many times do I have to go through this? How many times do, how long do I have to live with this? How long do I have to put up and endure this pain? Think about the amount of times that happens to people, you know? And yeah, it's really, really, really sad, you know? And unfortunately, girls aren't the only ones who get abused. Boys do too. Um, just, of course, girls are more prone to it because for some reason our vagina is all like a playground to everyone. But, um, yeah, just think about that. It's, it's just something to think about and put in perspective. Um, and I always tell people, be kind to people who have been sexually abused because you don't know what they went through, you don't know, you can't fathom. Even though there are some situations, I've met some women or I've heard of some women who have been raped in their life once. They've been raped once. And, you know, of course, they want to say, oh yeah, I was traumatizing, it messed my life up. But for some reason, you know, they go off the deep end with their life, like they will start doing, being promiscuous and they will do all kind of shit that I've never even touched. You know, frankly, you can't um, judge them because everybody is different and people take things differently. But at the same time, it's like each abuse situation is different. You can't say, you know, oh, well, you shouldn't have done that because I've been raped more than you. You can't be like that. That's just insensitive completely. Do not do that ever. Um. But yeah, just be kind to everyone, period. Unless they're not kind to you. <laughs> just be kind to people and their abuse situations because going through this type of stuff is tough. It really is tough regardless of how long it lasted. You could have been abused for two years, it could have been five years, it could have been 15 years, it could have been 20. You know, just be kind, period, because that person has endured a lot. And for them to be still standing is amazing. Truly, truly amazing. You know, there are some people I've heard who have worse abuse stories than me, in my opinion. Like, they've been down hard, donkey style, raped for years and years on end by a father, a, a, a uncle, a brother, somebody, several people. Not just Melissa, they've been raped as well, like several people doing horrible stuff to them, sticking stuff inside their bodies and doing all kind of crazy um, ritual type of shit. Abusing them, not feeding them, locking them up in the, in the basement. All kind of horrible stuff. I've heard some horrible stories, y'all. And I'm lucky that I didn't even go through any of that, you know? So, like I said, um, I just think about these things sometimes and I'm very grateful that I did not, that it was not worse. It really could have been worse. You know, it's bad, but it could have been worse. Um, but hey, like I said, just to keep things in perspective, I wanted to tell you guys, you know, just to think about others. Think about people who've been abused and imagine how many times they had to endure what they endured. Imagine the amount of fear that they had as a child, knowing that somebody was going to come in and, you know, violate them. Imagine that feeling. Like, just imagine. Imagine the amount of times. I already know it was a lot for me. 
um, because like I said, all the grooming comes into play as well. It wasn't just the first time I was touched, it was before that. Because y'all know the grooming process, the grooming always starts. There's always a grooming process. Well, I can't say always. Majority of the time, if that person has evil intentions, the grooming process starts early. And they already know what they're doing, they're, they're already grooming you. I mean, why, why else do you show your damn child a porn magazine? Come on. The grooming starts early and they're completely aware of it. You can't not be aware of it. Like, come on. That's crazy. That's like me going to show my 11 year old daughter a porn magazine. Ain't no way in hell. But, um, that's just what some people do. Well, most people, most perpetrators, they purposely go out and prey on kids. They have an intention to get close to said child who's close to them. Most perpetrators are people that you know. Most people that you know pretty well. You know, it's not always a stranger or some guy down the dark alley. It's most of the time people that you know, right in your own family. Your brother, your aunt, your sister, your cousin, whoever. Just be aware. Be aware of your surroundings and watch your damn kids. Please, people, don't let your kids hang around anybody in the family. Just because you think you know your Uncle Jeremy doesn't mean your child is safe around him. Just because you think you know. Don't. Don't let up. Just be careful out here. Watch your kids and be nice to people who've been abused because you have no idea what they went through. I believe that's all I have to say right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you take it as some food for thought. Let me know your experiences in the comments down below. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe with this coronavirus and healing and everything else. I hope you're using this as a period of reflection and getting to know yourself better. That's all you can do these days. Everything's shutting down again. Just do the best you can. Um, uplift yourself if you can. You know, take this time to learn some things, you know. Fix your life up a little bit in ways that you can while you're at home. You know, that's all you can do. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Stay safe. I hope you guys are having a great day, second hour, month, minute, and century. Yeah. Thank you for watching.